talk about on the show a lot. Um, a lot of women sometimes that are single, they're stuck single because they're chasing, they're dickmatized by the Chad, by the Tyrone, by the uh, by the guy, by, by the guy with the good dick game, you know. So like some something that we like to talk about a lot on the show sometimes is um, uh, our, you know, if you are chasing one of those guys, you know what? Stop if you're like, chasing anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Facts. well, that that is true, but um. But what would y'all like if a man has options? Why should he pick you? I you would know, say it, 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 like what makes y'all different? Like I want to know what makes y'all different from all the other girls that he might be fucking. At the I time. think it all boils down to what you can bring to the table. Like if a man is providing for you, okay, what can you do for me? You know, as a man, complimentary, you know, kind of like what you know, it gotta it gotta go hand in hand. Like if I'm like a man, if he's doing all the providing, doing all this, you know, dishing out so much, it's just like at a certain point he's gonna be looking at you, okay. What can you do for me? So I feel like it boils down to, okay, what can my woman do for me? What can she do to make me happy just as much as I'm doing to make her happy? Mm -hmm. And like, I also just want to ask this really quick. Would y'all, would any of y'all ever accept a guy uh, who is so attractive or he makes such a good income? He has lots of options. Like he's going to sometimes cheat every once in a while because he has this option or any of y'all the type of women that would accept something like that? Except cheating? Yeah. yeah. From a guy that like, I, and here's the thing. If y'all are single and already fucking a guy, he's already technically probably cheating on y'all right now. So <laughs> Uh, it, I'm just saying to the single girls, y'all in relationships. I'm not saying y'all are getting cheated. Honesty on matters. I feel like if you both are open in the beginning, okay. If you, if a woman is doing her own thing, if she's still, you know, fucking and sucking on the side, she can't really be too mad if the guy has different options. But I feel like it has to. Every the both parties have to be honest in the beginning. Like if that's what you want to do, cool. But that guy's don't a be cuck if he allows to, that though. What a fucking don't, loser. Don't be trying to you know limit me and tell me oh I can't do this or I can't do that when you behind the scenes doing whatever you want. So I feel like if that honesty is there from the jump, then it can it can really go. Oh man, forever. that po poly relationships never fucking work. If you're gonna if anything works, it's only polygyny and that's it. I mean that's if you're not in a relationship with the guy. But yeah. if y'all like having those discussions in terms of like leading to a relationship, then yeah, th there's gonna be some boundaries. Mm -hmm. Like you ain't gonna be out doing whatever, you ain't gonna have these options no more because this is what we're working towards. Yeah. But if that's not what we own, then shit, it's free game on both sides. You just gotta understand though, like usually it's guys like it's called spinning plates where like a guy will have like multiple girls that they're fucking, like one girl Monday, one girl Tuesday, one girl Wednesday. Like the guys that really get it, because here's the thing, there's a ton of guys that don't get sex, and there's very few guys that get a lot of fucking sex. Like a lot of women are Eskimo sisters and y'all would never even know it. And it's just because a lot of women, like if we look at Tinder statistics, women swipe on like four, like on like, like top four or five, four point five percent of men all get swiped on by by the same women. So if we look at statistics, most women are all kind of going up to the top to these same guys. And uh, those guys, you can't really tell to to you know like 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 cut their options off. And I wanted to go kind of go back to you saying you know like if I'm not doing, um, he, he's not going to do it either. Do you think men and women are the same sexually when it comes to stuff like that? Like, do you think that like a woman, you know, like a woman can even do that? Like, do you think a woman can have multiple sexual partners? No. I would just highly disagree or I would just highly say that it's it's impossible for a woman to do that. Now, now what y'all will do is y'all will have one guy that you fuck, one guy that takes you on dates, one guy that you like to text, one guy that maybe sends you on the vacations, one guy that maybe pays the rent. Like y'all like to have a, a bench, but you're only fucking one on the bench. Like there's only one guy that's actually all the other guys are simps hoping that they'll get the sex one day. And that's something that a lot of women are doing, though. And uh, what, I, what I like to teach is don't get digmatized by that fucking loser. Like, don't fuck him because he's going to he's gonna make it to where you ignore the really good guy when he does walk by. It's one of the big things that we talk about a lot. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and go to the next one. Uh, we got uh, $2 again for Zoro's. Never ask the fish how to fish set up for failure. And what he's talking about, ladies, is you never, <laughs> you never ask a woman how to – get women because you ask a fisherman you'll ask a guy how to catch women how to get you know you'll ask a fisherman you would never ask a woman because y'all obviously don't know exactly what he, um what guys are doing he super chatted that in whenever we were talking about uh them wanting a guy that's emotional oh emotional yeah man. yeah that is true um yeah go to the next one uh ten dollars from ombre of the house thank you so much bro the reason why the reason we don't like the word partner <laughs> is because it implies equal authority but in practice, women don't want to share the responsibility when things inevitably go wrong. Ideal right. versus real. But in practice, women don't want to share the responsibility. So an analogy that could be waiting. used is let's say somebody breaks into the house 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, who you want to go downstairs to check who that noise is, you or your man? <laughs> I have been waiting for this comment to pop back up. This is the one I wanted to talk about, but we were like, wait, I have been waiting. <laughs> no, it was another one. 
Yeah, it was the next it, one. It was the oh, next it was the dude with the eight yeah. years. Probably we'll, we'll get that. Now. It was this we'll one. And I was like, yeah, oh, but wait. so so yeah. Who who do y'all want to go downstairs though? If somebody breaks into the house, you want you and your man to do the it. Man, my man. You want the man to do it. I expect my man to do it, but that that's. Well, see, that's what he's saying. So the so he's saying, you know, like y'all like. Men are expected to do these certain things, but at the same time, y'all want equal authority over some things. And it's like, I mean, well, it's, it's not always not like, here's the thing. Like, oh we God, like to say this all the time. Life is sexist. Board. Like, life is sexist. The world is sexist. OK, 100%. No, they're, 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 like there's double standards everywhere. And you can't do nothing about it. I can't get mad about women that make it into VIP sections all the time. I can't get mad about a 19 year old woman that is beautiful and can go get on a yacht in Miami. Like men and women are very different. We have definitely different, two completely different opportunities in life. And like all women have a lot of value up front when you're young and beautiful. Men don't get a lot of value until they're 35 and they have $100,000 a year job. But like for me, whenever I hear the word partner, I think of like um, at one point with m me and my ex, like we both had a point where we didn't have a job. Mm -hmm. And so when I didn't have a job, he picked up the slack. He covered everything. When he was down, I covered everything. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have it, he had it. If he didn't have it, I had it. If neither of us had it, we was going to go get it. Yeah. And it was that very is a equal. partner or yeah. a team. Because yeah. that's what I don't understand. It's not always when I say I want a partner. I don't because I I'm 100 percent. You're right. There There's not equal authority because I will put everything in the trash and I really hope you don't expect me to take it to the dumpster. because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like, that's funny. I, that's a good I, one, like, yeah. I, I just hope you don't expect me to do that because I'm not going to do that. Like you, you can go get all the groceries and when you come home, I'm going to I'm going to cook them. I can do all of that for you. So I understand what he means by not equal authority. <laughs> mm -hmm. But there's roles. Yeah, there's roles. There's You're absolutely roles. right. There are roles, but I still like the partner word and I still want a partner because at the end of the day, you can if you know what you're doing and I can trust you to do what you're doing you can lead me wherever we need to go but we're going to have to talk about certain things if you want to lead me into a house because you don't want to be in an apartment that's fine lead me into that house but at the end of the day there are going to be decisions that we have to make together yeah. as exactly. partners and that's to get to that house and, yeah. but that kind of yeah but like what it, you were it, saying earlier about um like you know I, I can't remember the term that you used but you were saying that you believed in that more oh commentarianism yes yeah. like um like how you said like you want your man to pick up like where you can't and that's that's basically yeah. what you're saying but we we associate that as partnership as well yeah I, the, this, this is the one thing i will say like the, the they're just kind of mad about the whole partnership word but in reality like this is the big thing though that they're trying to get across and like this is mostly just relevant for hyper mass remember we're just kind of generalizing right here like just for hyper masculine type of men or men that are very successful or something like that sometimes like not saying you, your man is very successful so i'm not He's an exception to this rule. But sometimes those guys that are very sexful, they want a very masculine, feminine relationship. And in that case, they wouldn't like the term partner. The thing is, is women want a guy that's taller, faster, stronger, a leader. Like that is just a fact. Like that's what women want are leaders. So there's some men, men that are super fucking leaders, super dominant men. And they really need the type of woman that's a very submissive feminine woman that falls into that role. Not saying that it can't be a partnership though. Like you're successful no, with yours. You I know? understand that. But do men understand that there's also a difference between being a, what did you just call it? A, uh, a masculine or, or submissive? Like, what do you mean? Is, do men understand that there's a difference between being a masculine provider of a man and being a manly man? Hmm, what do you mean? I'm confused. So when I say you can be a masculine and a provider, like you, you can be as masculine as you want to be. You can be a man mm -hmm. and you can provide everything for me. But when I say a manly man, like you, you can go to your corporate job. You can bring home a hundred K, 150 K, all of that a year. You can be as masculine as you want to be and tell me all the decisions you want to make at the house. But if I say, I need my brakes changed, like my brakes fixed, can you fix them? If I say I need my oil changed, can mm -hmm. you do that? If I say, Ooh, I want to shed in the backyard. Can you build it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's something <laughs> that actually Ombre of the house actually asks that question almost every single show. He I usually like he usually asks, do y'all like a man that can, um, a handyman, or do y'all want a man that can always pay for those things? And it's always split. There's always, there's some women that really like the handyman. There's some women that are just like, nah, just fucking pay. Like, it's a check. Just pay right. it. I see, you know? my thing is, I want, I want. Yeah, yeah, it's a preference it's, for sure. I want both because, I yeah, I yeah. want both because at the end of the day, yes, you can build a shed. But if I say, hey, babe, 
I want a shed built in the backyard. 100%. Go call somebody, a contractor, construction, whoever needs to But you to want them to be able to do some of that. the things. But yeah. if I say, like mow the lawn I, need, or if I, say I want my, my oil change, go in the garage and do that. What are we going up there for? Why yeah. am I going to go up there and let them see me as a girl and try to charge me $100 for an oil change when I, you can do it at the house? I would actually argue it's one of the most attractive <laughs> things that a guy can do. Like, And a lot of people disagree with me on this sometimes, but I think a guy that's a good gardener or farmer is attractive yes. and also a guy that is good at fixing things yes. because that means yeah. that they have very good um was uh, i can't think of what the skill is solving skills. yes probably problem amazing problems with, and then and a guy who's a good farmer or a good gardener he has amazing connections with nature which is another thing that for thousands of years that is a good sign in a man and I'm a That's, sign so, in so, th so those two things man it's just yeah. something that i think a lot of women like yeah 